Good morning, my dear students. Welcome to Saint Michael's Academy, Bethel's e-learning class of English, of Standard One. Children, today we will start a new chapter, Chapter Five, Daisy the Cow. So now let's student begin the chapter. Jim likes the animals on Aunt Katie's farm. He likes Billy. the little black goat he likes the noisy hens and the gentle sheep but there is one animal jim is afraid of children this story is about a little boy jim and about the animals on aunt katie's farm children from this paragraph we learn that jim loves the animal he likes billy the little black goat he also likes the noisy hen and the gentle sheep but there is one animal by whom jim is afraid of now let's know from the second paragraph that of which animal jim is afraid of So let's read the second paragraph. Jim says, "I am afraid of bear with the horns. It stares at me with large brown eyes. It makes a loud noise." Children, in this second paragraph, we learn that Jim is. Jim is saying that I am afraid of bear with horns. He is totally frightened of bear with horns. It is he is telling about that animal that it is stares at me with large brown eyes. Jim is telling that the bear gazes at him with huge, great, big brown eyes. it makes a loud noise and he jim is telling that he al- it also makes a loud noise now let's read the third paragraph aunt katy says that isn't a bear that is my good cow daisy she will not hurt you children in this paragraph Aunt Katie says that it is not a bear; it is cow, and it is my good cow, whose name is Daisy. And she is telling to Jim that it, it she will not hurt you; she will not injure you or harm you. Now let's read the second last paragraph. But Daisy is making loud noises at me," says Jim. Aunt Katy says, "No, that is Daisy mooing loudly. She is hungry." Aunt Katy gives Daisy some hay to eat. Children, in this paragraph, when Aunt Katy says to Jim. that it's a cow not a bear and she will not hurt you after listening her jim says that but daisy is making loud noise at me aunt katy says no that is daisy mooing loudly she is crying she uh, auntie is telling to jim that cow is crying she is hungry auntie katy gives Daisy, some he to eat. When cow was crying, when she cow was mowing, auntie gives her has given her some he he to eat. So given her meal to eat. Children, now let's read the last paragraph. Slowly, Jim walks up and stands beside Daisy. She makes a soft moo sound when he pats her. I am uh, not afraid of Daisy now, Jim tells Aunt Katy. Children, in this paragraph, we study that Jim slowly walks towards Daisy. 
cow and stand beside her and touch her lovingly when jim touches the cow she makes a soft moo sound now jim is telling to aunt katty that he is not afraid of daisy he wants to tell that he is now not afraid of he is not frightened of the daisy cow children now it's your homework time your homework is that you go throughout the chapter again children i hope you all have understood the chapter well thank you and have a nice day